story of film is six years of my life. It's a kind of passionate love letter to cinema. It's a kind of voyage around the world. And it's a kind of attempt to show that cinema is even more than what we usually think of it as. Before I made the film, The Story of Film, I wrote a book called The Story of Film. And when I was writing the book, I sat in my apartment in Scotland and I discovered loads just by watching loads of films. Um, but when I made the film, I travelled around the world, uh, all, all China, India, Japan, America, South America, Europe, Asia, etc. Um, but strangely, I didn't discover much more about cinema. I'd already done my research. There are various histories of cinema, usually books. They're nearly all written by white men. And the problem with that is that they have quite a white man's view of the world. Um, one of the biggest problems with the general histories of cinema is that they underestimate women directors. The, the first thing that I had to do in the history of cinema was to show that the film history had to be rewritten from a fe feminist point of view. The second thing I had to do is to show that Africa is great in cinema. Africa isn't some kind of also ran, some marginal cinema. It is central to cinema in, since the 1970s, so I had to do that. And the third thing I had to do was a bit more complicated. I wanted to try and show that what we call classical movies, old Hollywood, they are not really classical. They are kind of romantic, emotional, um, expressive cinema, but they're not properly classical. So they're the three big adjustments that I tried to make. It starts with the flickering first moments of cinema, and then we watch it grow up, we watch silent, we watch the 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, etc. But within that, and just as cinema is quite associative and poetic, so within that broad storyline, uh, I tried to be a bit associative. And so when we first hear about documentary films, then we do a quick do tour of documentary cinema. When we come to the 1950s, we jump to other time periods as well. So it's the opposite of a kind of dry, academic, theoretical, factual history of cinema. It's more like the way your mind works when you think of a movie then you think of another movie from a different period and it hopes to capture some of that theater.